I know exactly what you're thinking in this case. You're thinking, hey, what the heck is this? Well, what the heck is it? Here's blood. Here's something that has a lot of blood vessels in it. Oh, my God, look, we have a little edge of a uh, squamous mucosa here. So this could be skin, or because I don't see any hair follicles or sweat glands, maybe it's a non-keratinized squamous mucosa like a mouth. And indeed, this was uh, probably from the oral uh, mucosa, which is where these tumors arise. And you know this is the tumor. And you know this is the tumor. And you know this is the tumor. And it all looks similar, so it doesn't matter what we go to. Now, the first thing that you're thinking now is, hey, this doesn't look like a tumor at all. This looks like normal granulation tissue. You could see a lot of these foamy histiocytes. You could see these abundant, prominent, budding blood vessels. Why would Dr. Menarsik show us a, something he's calling a tumor if it looks like normal granulation tissue as part of the normal organizing inflammatory process. Well, that's because this tumor called pyogenic granuloma, it's not really a granuloma and it's not really a tumor. It's really granulation tissue, but it could appear like a tumor in that it could be very, very polypoid. And uh, you'll notice a lot of cells in here are still neutrophils. There is a prominent amount of these foamy histiocytes, however, causing these cells with clear spaces. But one of the most prominent feature are all of these budding endothelial cells, just showing a large growth of blood vessels into this. And that's why it's very hemorrhagic and very vascular. And that's why it can bleed like crazy as well. And this is a pyogenic granuloma of the uh, oral cavity, perhaps the lip, perhaps the mouth. Uh, and it is virtually indistinguishable from normal granulation tissue, and I thank you very much.